Hello, welcome to another Becoming a Modern Man. We are playing a mono green aggro deck uh, using Avatar of the Resolute, and uh, this is our first matchup against uh, Green Red Tron. So uh, let's get underway. So our opponent's going to be on the play. Let's see if we can get our opener up. Okay, so here's our opener. We've got Tribe Militant, Experiment 1, Leatherback Bailoff, uh, Colonial Tusker, and Aspect of the Hydra. So it looks like a nice aggressive start. Punt just leads off with an expedition. Cracks the map to get another Tron piece, I believe. We're going to be able to play Experiment 1, and then our Drive Militant. We're evolving both our experiment ones to make them 2-2's, two which is a nice play. Compose another map. Ancient Stirrings, which finds an Oblivion Stone, which is a little scary. So he's definitely going to be able to have trouble next turn. Um, I run out of Clonian Tusker. Um, and then I'm going to use my aspect of Hydra now. Um, if he's going to play Oblivion Stone, then we're going to lose out. So clearly, we just want to uh, evolve these guys so we can regenerate them, and then just hit for as much as possible. Um, aspect of Hydra is probably not going to get any better than this five damage, and five damage for one mana is pretty good. Um, it's basically a Goblin Grenade here. So stick that on the militant. So we're attacking for 13 this turn. Uh, we also have a Tree Toppy Village in our hand which is going to be fairly nice if we just clear the board so uh, still in fairly good position and uh, yeah we can nice and aggro here and put him down to five and our front end conceding so obviously he didn't see a way out of the position um, I suppose he wouldn't have actually been able to uh, play the living stone if he hadn't put Tron together just at that moment so um, yeah, didn't work. Didn't work out for our opponent, and uh, we managed to aggro him out. This is definitely how we want our games to go. Uh, just very speedy hand, and uh, managed to work out really nicely. Let's go on to game two. Okay, so we had some mulligan. Quite a few hands there. I think we had a one lander and a no lander, which doesn't look great, too great. Uh, this hand's okay, but as five can hands go anyway, but um, not ideal, obviously. Let's go off to a good start. He's going to have Tron on turn three, thanks to that Sylvan Scrying, which definitely isn't good for us. A bit Tusker, probably Spell Skite, which is actually our deck. Um, Steal the Rancor, means Aspect of the Hydra is no good. And it just has four toughness, which is kind of a pain when most of our guys have three toughness. Um, going to be able to run out another Tusker, see if we can get some damage through our opponent's Spell Skype. Meanwhile, he's drawing cards off Relic. Uh, eight mana is definitely scary. Now right, he's got a Khan, which is pretty awful. It's all the card from our hand really want to use Rancor but we can't really and I kind of have to deal with this so our opponent's really far ahead Exiles a Rancor, plays an Oblivion Stone and uh, that should pretty much wrap it up um, <coughs> I'm going to carry on here trying to attack Khan down but he's not going to be able to search up Worm Coil or whatever he particularly wants but I think he just search up a Worm Coil um, drops down to the battlefield and there is very little we can do about Worm Coil. This is a really bad card for against this for our uh, for our deck. Um we just don't have an, many ways to deal with it and the lifelink is pretty huge. Um so yeah, definitely not a card we ever want to see our opponent playing. And definitely a weakness of this deck against Tron and really any deck that plays Worm Coil engine I suppose. Um just not a lot of ways to deal with it. I suppose we could play like Deglamour or something in the sideboard. 
that might be an idea just to sort of shore that one up. Uh, this hand's decent, slightly more land than I would like, but it's going to be on the play, and we have some aggressive creatures. I think I brought the scavenging ooze for dismember and possibly something else. Um, just obviously to have a creature, dismember doesn't do a great deal against red green tron in general. The stirrings, put some mine into his hand. Which is going to run out and then play a chromatic sphere. Five here, play militant. It's all about playing sc scavenging ooze out, but I don't want to risk just being oblivion stoned to oblivion, as, as it were. Um, and scavenging ooze would be a nice follow up to play to a board sweep from our opponent, so that's the reason I didn't run it out just. Straight out there. I don't think we're going to be punished too hard for it. Drawing lands is quite annoying given that we already have a lot of lands. Um, I ran the scam news out there. I can't quite remember why. I don't know, I guess just to force him to have something. Um, I think I probably could have afforded to keep it in my hand, but. Yeah, under the circumstances, I think I would have rather have kept scavenging ooze in hand, given he did have the Oblivion Stone. So that was slightly inconsistent play from myself. Um, not a great idea. Follow up though, which isn't too bad, particularly given that opponent's on six. But uh, there comes Worm Coil Engine, and uh, that just wraps it up. Um, I didn't necessarily need to concede there, but uh, it was the result was the same. I think I drew an. I think my next draw was another land, and by that time, opponents probably gained like 12 life, um, which is pretty difficult to come back from. Um, so, yeah, if we'd been a bit quicker, maybe if we'd played slightly differently, we might have turned out alright, but Worm Call is just such a beating. If he hadn't had it, I feel like we would have won this matchup, but it's just very difficult. But, uh, yeah, generally, I think. We should be beating Tron as an aggro deck, um, and if your games go like game one, then obviously it goes quite well. Um, but yeah, they do have answers and ways to deal with aggro, and Worm Coil is one of those. Um, if you don't see Worm Coil, probably feeling fairly good, but otherwise it's uh, a bit of an uphill struggle.